Hello, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Tenchi no Tsurugi. Sorry, that's not right. Uh, Tenchi no Ken, I should say. It's a fun little side fact. Did you know that um, Ken and Tsurugi are written the exact same way? And uh, that's why it's always been a F.E. discourse what the actual titles of Binding Blade and Blazing Blade are. Yeah, it's very confusing stuff. But anyways, um, <laughs> this is of course uh, Sword of Heaven and Earth, which is a fan game made by a Japanese, uh, you know, yeah, Japanese fan. Uh, and it is set 20 years after the events of Blazing Blade. And uh, yet last time we met Saya, who is Lin's daughter. And it seems like uh, one of her tribes has been attacked. So we are going to be going forwards. And we teamed up with the Knights of Elia. Let's jump into this one. We're doing chapter 2 this time. So we did prologue in chapter 1 last time. But uh, anyways, that's the usual translations and uh, all that. And uh, we'll continue to play. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'm recording this back to back from the previous one. So... You know, to rescue Lin, that the uh, sorry, yeah, Lin, the uh, the chief that was uh, abducted. Sai and the others uh, head to in, in order to find the um, the remnants of the Jute tribe. The Sakane uh, grasslands had uh, turned uh, far away from peace and turned into war due to the actions of the Burn Kingdom. And multiple batches of mountain tribes. I don't need. Why am I still in my peace? There we go. <laughs> I didn't realize. Sorry. And multiple groups of mountain tribes have come down from the mountainsides. In order to cause destruction and chaos, um, a dark cloud uh, envelops the Sakaian fields. Saya and the others move forward, you know, to find Uru Village, um, and yeah, end up getting involved in more battles to come. I guess. Uh huh. Okay. Cool stuff. Here we are, chapter two, I suppose. Uh, what's the chapter called? It's called the the Rusted Chains, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh. Oh, three months ago. Oh, we're doing, like, sacred stone cutscene. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Um, I've lost. It's your win. Oh! Who are you? Okay. You've, uh, come quite far, Sire. Uh, Jazz, I guess. Jazz, I can't do anything against your sword skills. Oh, you can't underestimate the, uh, years of my training. However, I am still growing it to this day. I can't defeat a father or any of the other village warriors. Are they sisters, maybe? I don't know. To think there's someone stronger than you. I didn't know the Arslan tribe is uh, this strong. Okay, it's a different tribe, I guess. I wonder what's the difference between uh, me and you. Don't worry about it. Sire, so your sword skills uh, have quite... Um, yeah, you have quite the strong basic instincts. I can tell just by fighting you. Besides, I'm one year older than you, too. Hmm, well, I want to get as strong as I can and as quick as I can. Because I'm the tribe's daughter and as well as being a strong swordswoman. Uh, I feel the same. Hmm, okay, so maybe it's a different tribe's daughter here? We will both surpass our um, pre the previous chieftains of our tribes. And we will shine brighter than uh, the way that our parents did in their generation. Yes, you're right. Well, if we can't um, go at it with our own strength, we'll be able to help each other out. I'm sure of it. Yeah, you're right. I, I wonder if this is the original track. I, I don't recognize this sound, uh, this music. Our friendship will never um, crumble, no matter if heaven and earth shatter. So I guess they use the word Tenji here, so maybe uh, Saya might be Ten, and this character might be, uh, yeah, Jazz might be Chi, I guess. Which are the two things. I think that's also a variation of yin and yang, so yeah, keep. I think that's like the Japanese traditional version of yin and yang. Anyways, yeah. Well, we should head home. The next time we meet, you uh, make sure you can defeat me. <laughs> I'll make sure of that. Hee <laughs> hee, okay. Cool. So I guess she's kind of like a sister, but not like biologically related. Masasaya, Masasaya. Huh? Oh, sorry about that. I was thinking about some things. It seems like the battle has just begun, but is something wrong? Well, I was thinking about Jazz. Master Jazz, the um, the daughter, yeah, the, the, the only daughter of the Arslan tribe's uh, chief. You're talking about Jazz, right? Yes. If she was here with us, then I would feel that much more courageous, but you're right. There's a lot less numbers in terms of the Arslan tribe compared to the Kutola and the Jute, but... They are the strongest uh, warriors in the grasslands. They would be our strongest assistants if we ever did uh, team up with them. I wish there was a way to contact her in any way. Uh, by the way, are you sure this is the right direction, Ariel? Ariel? Ar Aruel, I guess? Yes. 
Going further ahead this way is the destroyed, um, the fortress over here. Oh, was that the fortress that the Manicati first appeared, maybe? But recently, the Jute tribe have been, uh, going in and out of that, um, yeah, of that fortress, I hear. The Burn Castle is nearby too, so I'm sure this has been used as their base. I see. I guess you really did find the Maruel. Hmm. Hey. Do you think my mother is already- <sighs> No, I don't want to think about that. Well, I'm sure she's... Right now, her, um, I guess her value as a hostage is quite large. If, say, Master Lin were to head into the the burn side, then not many tribes will help us out anymore. I guess due to lack of trust, I guess? I, I don't know. Just in terms of like, oh, their chief has already been taken sort of thing. I don't know. Just that alone is enough for the enemies to move. I see. Sorry, I won't talk about any of the, yeah, anything anymore. Besides, it is my responsibility first and foremost. I, I should repay, um, yeah, by using my life. Hmm? He was gonna kill himself? Excuse me? Oh, I've definitely seen this portrait, so I guess that's just a, a generic villain. Oh, you're the Lorca tribe, aren't you? Why are you here? Tcha. Okay. W wait! They're, they're over here as well. It seems like they're the Bodroff uh, Mountain Bandits. We have to defeat them in any ways possible. So they're using our village, um, yeah, as a base. Of operation, or we'll defeat them uh, with yeah without letting a single one escape. Uh huh. Whoa, this is a cool map. I wonder if we're getting. Oh my god, this is the map where, where you meet Guy, right? I'm pretty sure. Or is it different? It seems like it is. Maybe. God, there's so many enemies. Uh, I'm just gonna double check in case in case there is someone that we can recruit or something like that. You never know with these things. Um. Okay, doesn't look like it. There is an item shop though, which is nice. A mercenary already. That's rough, isn't it? Uh, or a myrmidon, I should say. Uh, I think this one's a mercenary, yeah. Alright, well, uh, danger zones are gonna be a little rough, I must admit. Oh, okay, so Aruel is the Merlinus this time around. 25 constitution. Interesting, okay. Well, let's see. It, and also, he's already the carriage, unlike the uh, Blazing Blade version of Melanus, of course, so that's kind of interesting too. She's got a hand axe, seven strength. Can Sheik's, um, you know, tank this, I wonder? Well, uh, I do want to give back the the uh, javelin so I can actually. I'll do that. Oh, he's already in the danger zone of this guy, so if we can block off somehow. The mercenary? Oh, this is actually kind of rough. Ristoff, maybe? Ristoff with the steel sword? Maybe? This could be a bad idea, to be uh, very frank with you. Um, I think Saya can lure out, like, one of them. I'll get you, like, here, maybe? And then we get Sagan and EK uh, in the back there. There's quite a lot of enemies already, so this already looks a little difficult, but... 7 damage, okay. Oh yeah, I knew that was gonna hit, but that's fine. You're not gonna finish, which is great, because then uh, no other enemies can uh, follow an attack. I mean, there is the archer, but I doubt you're gonna do 14 damage, right? So, okay. Cool. Seven. Cool. That actually hits. That's fine. We're doing 12 back, though, which is good. Uh, are you gonna double? No, that's good. That's good. If you doubled, that could have been rough, um, based on the other enemies, though. Let's see. Oh, you're going for... They're all going for um, wrist stuff here. Yeah? I guess because uh, the other guy has a hand axe, maybe? Because this guy? Yeah, I thought you were going to go there as well. That's fine. Yep, you're fine. We can heal you up next turn. That's okay. You're about to level up as well, which is great. And the archer's going for uh, for hard boy here. <laughs> Sheiks, of course. Okay. Nice. Luckily, we had the javelin equipped. 11 damage is pretty hefty. I do like the grey just uh, javelin thing. That's kind of nice. Oh. Kuh. Seems like this village uh, is empty too. Can't even find a single bottle of nice rum. Uh, but big bro, look outside. Huh? Um, you, you look like you've seen a ghost. What's happened? The Lorca tribe uh, has been attacking us from every angle. Seems like uh, big bro Gara has been defeated. What? What? Tch, I suppose we still have our trump card. And then we can always use the sister that we've uh, taken and use her as a shield. Okay. So there's someone we can recruit, I suppose, maybe? In that house or something? Or maybe like after that, I don't know. There is a mage as well, is that? Um, okay, that actually is the um, the enemy as well. Okay, we're in a bit of a situation here, but I don't, I think it's fine, I think it's fine. It doesn't look too bad at least. Okay, so EK can finish that guy off. Uh, let's see here. 
We do have enough, and uh, yeah, we also do have Scarn as well, so I'll go for EK first. Nice crit, okay, cool. You, you really didn't have to do that, but <laughs> you really didn't. Um, but good job. I guess maybe he will become best boy, we'll see. Um, oh right, yeah, you have the Manny Caddy and the Soul Caddy, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Six times two. I don't really want to use the Manny Caddy already, you get what I mean? You're doing 14 times two, I thought you were going to do something ridiculous like that. Um, Rich stuff can't go around that way. Grape, can Grape finish this guy off? Nine times two. Just can't, okay. That's kind of rough, I must admit. Um, Sagan could defeat this guy? Yeah, that works. We'll do that. Um, and you got the hand axe, that's fine. A nice dodge animation, that's pretty cool. Okay. I don't have a ton of experience using the uh, no Nomad Troopers, I guess. These promoted ones, so. It is what it is, but, uh, okay. Then there's the mercenary there. Uh, how much are you doing? Okay, so you can finish this guy off. Uh, what was it again? Lances are good against swords? I think that's right. So I think that's fine. Right, nice. We got rid of him. And a good job, Sheiks. Good stuff. Uh, I wonder when our first uh, character who's already appeared. I wonder if Karel's gonna appear. I mean, he's Sikayan, right? I'm pretty sure. I forget um, all the details, but I'm pretty sure he's at least partially Sikayan. Okay, we got a kill for Ristoff. You're about to level up, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So we get that going. Cool. Nice level up. Level 3. One ping. Okay. That. <laughs> sure. Uh, and then if Grape can set up for that Saya there, we should- Okay, alright. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 2%, but sure, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, so I could lure out s with Saya, but you're at 14, unless I- I mean, I'm fine with doing that, but I'll definitely heal up if I'm going to do that. So do that one. Okay, you're, you're already on uh, 21 HP, which is pretty good. Okay. So, Mercenary is probably going to go for Saya, yeah, because she's the game over condition. 11's a little- oh, I had the Manny Caddy equipped, whoops. You might be able to crit this, though. You did not, okay. <laughs> um, that's fine, you gotta level up. Yeah, it was a little bit painful, the 11, I must admit, but, uh, 5 strength, good. I did want some strength, uh, level ups, so that's great. We'll take a look at the item shop as well this time, but... Oh, oh no- you're kind of cool, okay. Um, <laughs> and again, I do love the Binding Blade uh, recruitment theme as well. Um, damn mountain bandits, come at me, okay. Uh, this Master Toby will take you on. Okay, I guess his name is Toby. Toby, just shut up for a minute. Are you serious? Is this... Wait, hold on, I'm trying to think of the timeline. Is this like Dorcas's kid or something? <laughs> of course not, okay. How could they uh, keep doing stuff like this? Okay, there's some women that were even taken away, and they're never going to return home. I understand that. And I just wanted to um, calm you down, I guess. Even I am at my limits in terms of what I can uh, let go. I guess. Yeah, you're on the right page. Hmm? Oh, what's that over there? Seems like uh, there's people uh, that are. Yeah, there seems like there's rowdiness over there. Well, what is that? Oh, they're fighting the mountain bandits. <laughs> seems good to me. I suppose they're not- uh, we're not the only ones that were, uh, yeah, angry at their, um, yeah, at, at what they did. Let's, uh, help them out. Okay, cool, let's take a look at our new characters. Toby and Gim, or maybe Jim, maybe? Toby and Jim. Okay. So we've got Toby. He is an ex, uh, what are they called again? Um, not mechanic. Uh, Ironsmith, I guess? An ex-Ironsmith at All Village. Uh, he is a flirt that likes to, yeah, hit on women, I guess. Well, actually, it doesn't actually spe specify he likes hitting on women, so maybe he does like hitting on men too, I don't know. <laughs> Look, a bitch can dream. Um, okay, so Steel Axe and Iron Axe and three Vulnerys, 95343514. Yeah, I definitely think I prefer Toby over Jim here, but... And Dean Axe at 775-34513. And he's got the Hand Axe, I see. He kind of reminds me of Lurt a little bit. Okay, uh, he is a, I don't know, like a woodsman uh, from the, the Ore Village, uh, as in someone that chops down wood. He fights in order to save his parents and his uh, younger sister, I guess. Okay, interesting. They are giving me Lot and, uh, what's the other one called again? Lot and, not Chad, I forget his name now. <laughs> the one I like. Um, Ward, I guess, yeah. Uh, they do give me those vibes. There is this, uh, hard boy over here that we have to deal with, but uh, that should be fine for now. Okay, uh, Saya does need to heal up. 
Ristoff needs to heal up as well, to be fair. Can EK maybe finish this guy off? Yeah, okay. We'll give the uh, kill to EK. Um, I'll take a look at the item store, because we might need a couple things from there as well. Uh, I suppose Grape can go up, because, uh, you know, you're fine. Um, iron Bows. I might grab an Iron Bow. Again, I don't know how strict this is in terms of how much money they give us, so I'm not going to go crazy, but... Um, okay, and can you re you can reach the... The Voluntary Store, let's take a look. Okay, they've only got Voluntaries. I'll... yeah, I'll take one set, I guess. Alright, in that case, uh, we have to lure out this guy or somehow deal with that guy, so, uh, yeah, you're fine with health. Let's get you down. We'll get Roostoff down as well, uh, heal up. And I'll heal up Sire as well this turn, and I think, yeah, I guess we can counter you down. Get Sire here, let's heal you up. I'll, uh, trade over the new, uh, lot of Voluntaries that, um... What was, what was your name? Like, Zuai or something? Uh, Tsagan, right. Um, I will do that, and uh, hopefully that can happen. I can actually... I could lead this guy over to us. Because uh, the axes are good against lances, right? So I'll put Jim and... Uh, Jim and... Tony? Toby? Toby, I think, yeah. Jim and Toby next to each other. 13's a little rough. Um, but I don't think he's doubling, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, I definitely do want to try out Toby. He, he's cool. I like him. Okay. And uh, they're coming down this way. Awesome. So, uh, alright, let's uh, get Sagan down here. You actually just reached. That's actually perfect. Pass you over the uh, Voluntaries. And uh, we'll continue. I guess we'll get Grape down here. So the Switch Pro Controller D-Pad's a little bit um, iffy to use. I'm gonna have to somehow block off this side, I just realized. Which is a little bit rough. Because, uh, like, how much is... How much are they doing to wrist off? Six. Three sixes are 18, he will be fine, but, um, unless Jim can finish this guy off, Jim can finish this guy off, and he's only going to get attacked by this guy, so if Jim, or Jim could just throw the hand axe, is that going to be out of range? That is actually going to be out of range, okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to throw a hand axe with Jim. Nice crit. Again, you people with your 2% criticals, what is going on? <laughs> what is actually going on? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, and then you're there, so we can get you out of the, the danger zone. And I guess, uh, yeah, we can lure out with uh, Ristoff. Toby could probably get the village for now. Or we could heal up, I suppose. I guess I can't reach the village. I suppose we'll get the village and that's fine. Let's take a look. The mountain bandits attacked my grandson. Please, take this. It's a uh, spear that's good against cavalry. Please show them the rage of a yeah of a raging father. I guess okay. Is his is his grand is that his grandson or his son? I don't. Anyways, I got the night killer. Cool, cool stuff. I'll take it. Uh, okay. So, suppose I mean we could get Shakes down here as well. We we'll get Sire ready for battle, and I suppose we'll end our turn. Okay. Interesting. I think that's fine. And uh, Ristoff. Alright, Ristoff can tank it. Alright, Swords are weak against Lancers. Uh, see, that's the thing, I've played, uh, what, four Fire Emblem games at this point on the channel? I still don't understand the Weapon Triangle to this day, so, um, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, why am I in a place like this? Uh, Master Emmeline. Oh no, is, she, is Emmeline the goddess or something in this land? I feel like that's the case. Uh, please give me the, um, yeah, the protection of the goddess. Hmm? She kind of looks like Collet. Oh my god, I love your design already. <laughs> um... It's something about green-haired boys that I'm just like, I need to protect you. <laughs> and it happened with Lou, you know, it happened with Ray. You know what's up. <laughs> Rebecca as well. Whoopsie-daisy. Ah, oh, don't come closer. Ah, oh, sure, okay. I'm gonna, uh, open up your, yeah, your ropes for you. He's got, like, a lightning bolt on his cloak, that's kinda nice. Th thank you so much. Who are you? My name is Ewan. I- ex Excuse me? <laughs> Isn't that a character from Sacred <laughs> <laughs> Sacred stones. Anyways, okay. I guess it's a. It's, yeah, the, it, my my love towards <laughs> my love towards that character in Sacred Stones has uh, you know spawned him in this game. I guess. <laughs> okay. You can call me a thief of justice or something like that. Anyways, so we can't be wasting time like this here. We gotta run before they spot us. Come on. Okay. I was about to say she looks like Colette from uh, Tales of Symphonia. If you guys have played that, <laughs> but. Uh, it seems like some uh, people have started to, um, yeah, clutter together over the bridge over there. We're gonna run towards that way. Y yes, of course. Awesome, let's take it. There's so many new characters joining. This is awesome. This is Ewan, of course. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Um, he is a an orphan, uh, you know, yeah, like a war 
uh, not a war hungry, what is it called? Like, an orphan due to the war, I suppose. A thief that is aspiring to be the thief of justice. <laughs> I guess he's kind of like a superhero kind of thing. I don't know. He's got the, sh the thin blade and the vulnerary. Ayo, I kind of want to make him be an S rank in swords. What about you guys? <laughs> we did it with, um, oh no, we can't make him an S rank. We can make him an A rank though. With Chad. God, I, I, I just love this boy's design. Are you kidding me? 11 speed. Good stuff. Light affinity. Cool. And what about Helga? Okay. A sister of the Elamine religion. Uh, she is a young woman that strives for peace. Okay. 2476 and a wind affinity. She has the live, of course, which is the heal, I believe, in English. Uh, and she has Ian Starves. Okay. Cool. I am ve like, I am just telling you, the custom portraits in this in especially look so- Look at Ewan's little tiny sprite there. Oh, that is adorable. That is adorable. <laughs> You are my son now. <laughs> you are my son. Um, but yeah, okay, and Helga's little, uh, I guess, hair accessory in there as well. That's very cute. Okay. Um, again, yeah, no, I was saying, like, I, I mean, I've seen some custom sprites here and then. I mean, I've, I've made my own as well, but these are very, very professionally made. These look legitimate, almost, which is amazing. Um, but okay. In that case, let us, uh, I'm trying to get a kill with Toby if possible, so why don't we get Jim and Toby, the two, uh, the two gym bros to, <laughs> to uh, defeat this guy for us, and uh, do it that way. And of course, we can uh, yeah get Toby up front. I do like my axe users. I must admit, they're they're kind of shit, but you know they they're, they're fun. They are they are a fun class to use uh, without a doubt. So, okay, cool stuff. All right, and I suppose we can set up with EK. Eight times two, cool. Uh, this could be a side kill. This uh, actually might, and then I'll get um, what was his name? Rustoff is that his name? The Cavalier boy. To I uh, get the uh, the other guy, I guess. We'll get Sire down here, and I'll use the Steel Sword, of course, and we'll finish this guy off. Cool stuff. Okay. I wonder if there's any custom classes. I mean, I kind of doubt it in a sense because this does feel very baseline uh, FE7, um, which I'm more than happy to do. Like I I always love playing FE7. I've played it a couple times actually uh, off camera, um, and it's definitely my favorite Game Boy experience. Again, like I said, like um, what is it again? I do like uh, Sacred Stones for what it is, but I, I'm definitely more of a fan of the Blazing Blade. I think, I think it's partially to do with the color palette, which is a really weird thing to say, but I do feel like um, Sacred Stones color palette tends to be a little bit washed out, which is fine uh, for that game. I think it works well for that, but oh, you're going to finish him off. I don't think Rustoff can finish this guy. Um, yeah, he's not speedy enough, so that's okay. I guess Grape, you can go in then and uh, finish this guy. Okay, Grape fumbled so Rustoff could get the kill, I guess. <laughs> I, I need to stop um, speaking too soon, you know. 82%? Yeah, that's gonna miss. <laughs> um, no, but okay, we'll get Rustoff uh, jumping in here. You missed. You actually missed, okay. <laughs> that That's rough. That's really rough, without a doubt. Um, okay. Oh yeah, that's right, you can use swords now. Okay, I might as well increase your sword rank. Oh yeah, I do like the Norm Nomad Trooper sword animation, that is always fun. How much sword rank do you actually have? Oh, you have A in swords, okay, cool stuff. And we get Aruel down here, and I suppose we gotta make uh, these two gun it so that uh, no one- There is no other enemies, right? So that they don't get uh, hit. Of course, we've gotten our first healer now, which is great. And the Thief Boy, which I definitely want to feed some kills into. You know how I, how I play with uh, Thief characters. The sisters run off! Uh, you guys uh, run off and uh, go and find her again. If there's anyone that assists her, then kill them too. Oh Jesus! Okay, there's a nomad. It's uh, swiftly approaching. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hurry up then and regroup. All right, we can't get uh, we can't let this thief boy die because uh, you know how, you know what you know my opinions on them. So, <laughs> um, I guess I guess there wasn't really a thief boy that I mean I well I love Legault to bits in um. In Blazing Blade, he's my favorite thief, without a doubt. Um, what's his name again? Uh, the the Black Fang dude. He was kind of cool as well. Uh, J Jafar, I think. Yeah, he was kind of cool as well. But I mean, like, look at Legault and tell me that man isn't a hot man. You know, like, what what can I say? What can I say? And then Matthew's just Matthew. Like, no one likes Matthew, right? So, <laughs> sorry, Roche. Okay then. Uh, let's see. So this this guy's gonna yeah jolt for us as uh, as per usual. Uh, what is your danger zone? All the way up to the... That is kind of rough, I must admit. Um, I could block the path with, like, sheiks and stuff. What do you have? You just have a bow? You just have a bow, huh? 
So I guess we'll go up with the javelin. Uh, what danger zones have that changed? Okay, so if we get someone else here, then I think we've basically blocked him off. If we get EK up here then. I think that's, yeah, pretty much blocked it off, which is great. Uh, I suppose we'll heal up wrist off then. Uh, actually, I'll go here just in case, because I don't remember the danger zone. Let's tear you up. Okay, cool uh, little animation. For the time being, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll hold on to uh, Helga there, but that's fine. Um, as in her animation, I don't know why I said it like that. Um, but then I guess I'll go Kobetsu and turn on everyone's apart from the healer. We looked at it once, I think that's more than enough. Um, and yeah, Helga's can be off. Okay, um, in that case, I'll get Aruel over here. Let's get Tsugan uh, and Saya as well. And we'll get Jim and Toby. I think if I go into FE Builder, I might have to ask a follow or someone about this, but if I go into FE Builder, um, oh, you can actually reach, but that's fine because it's Tsugan. Um, I might be able to extract all these portraits, so I might be able to use them for the thumbnail as well, which is going to be great. Um, and we'll do it that way, I think. Um, but anywho, okay, nice, nice uh, shot. He actually went for EK, that's fine. I guess he has a lot of defense, that makes perfect sense. And we got quite a lot uh, coming up here as well, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I do actually want to see, you're doing one times two, can we, can we do this? I would love to do, <laughs> I'd love to somehow make this work. Nine, huh? What about Toby? Wait, actually, okay, hold on. Uh, where can you go after? You, you can go to the other side. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go with Toby here. Fourteen. Eleven. If this lands... <laughs> if this la- Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> we can actually get a kill for, uh, Ewan here, I guess. That is your name, right? Yeah, Ewan. Okay. Uh, well, it's a 77% chance, so, uh, let's go for it. <laughs> We gotta give those kills to these thief boys, I'm telling you. Like, they end up becoming absolutely ridiculous, so... Cool. Uh, okay, so that's done. There is, like, quite a few. Okay, you're not in the danger zone there, but... This could be kind of gnarly based on... Well, we do have Tsugan and stuff, so... It should be fine. Alright, let's see how much Roostoff can do with the Steel Sword. 12, huh? What if Jim jumps in and throws... Yep, yeah, okay. If this lands, we'll be good. Nicely done, okay. I feel like every single time I say if this lands, it doesn't land, so I probably shouldn't have said that, but I guess it worked, so <laughs> it is what it is, right? Um, nice, okay. And we'll finish this guy off with the roost stuff here. Already, I'm really liking the characters. They they feel like official Fire Emblem, like legitimate Fire Emblem characters, which is always great. I'll uh, top up EK. Oh, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Things happen. Things happen. This is a no reset run. <laughs> um, oh, we can talk to, to Jim here. Okay. Oh, you're the people that helped us out. Um, my name is Jim. Uh, I will help you out from going on forwards. I just want to get rid of these, uh, these, not these mercenaries, what are they? These, uh, these ruffians? What's the word I'm looking for? Whatever, I, I can't remember now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I will do my best to help out as well. Cool. I guess maybe she might have a conversation with Toby as well then. Um, so that's cool. Uh, but okay. We'll get Sheik's up front. Um... Well, to be fair, this... yeah, he can only attack Ristoff or Sheiks, so it might not be as bad as I thought. He can tank two hits, right? Um, eight defense, eight attack, six attack. And if we have a sword equipped, which we do, we might be able to dodge this guy. He's got a hand axe, uh-huh, and a short blade. I think it's fine for now. I want to heal up EK because I missed it. I messed it up, that's fine. Keep you there, and then Tsugan can go up, I guess. And Grape, you can you can also use a vol. Why not? We might as well use them. I mean, we've learned that we can buy them, so, you know. Nothing to lose at this point. Okay. Alright, you're gonna go down to, uh... Okay, at least you didn't crit. That's great. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, you're doubling. Uh-huh. That's fine. I mean, even if he did crit twice, it would have been six damage, so that's fine. Uh-huh. Nice dodge, okay. I didn't think about that, but yeah, you're totally right. That could have been bad. That definitely could have. But we lived through it. Good, great stuff. Great stuff. Can you finish this guy off? Five, okay. I might be able to do this? Let's see. Who's weak enough? Is there anyone that's even weak enough to not finish this guy off? <laughs> I feel like that's not going to be a possibility. Thirteen, fourteen, yep. I thought so. I don't even think Saya is... Yeah, Sai's finishing this guy off, isn't she? What about EK's bow? 9 damage. 
I mean, let's see, Rustoff is 11. How much are you doing to this axe guy then? You're doing 5 times 2. That's pretty good, actually. 5 times 2, huh? Well, okay, let's get uh, 11 going on first. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. Again, it's uh, it's weirdly nostalgic to come back to all this GBA animations. You know, I was definitely sick of it after playing three games in a row, if I'm going to be dead honest with you, but... After a little break, something like this is quite nice. So uh, that's nice. Not saying that, you know, Path of Radiance animations are bad or anything, I, I really like them as well, but... Nice, we'll get some uh, XP going on. And, okay, um, Toby. Toby can jump in, or not. Well, Toby could throw in- oh no, he doesn't have a throwing axe. Uh, I suppose we'll give it to Saya then. Saya hasn't gotten a kill, uh, in a bit, so let's get that going on. Cool. And we'll get rid of you. Nice. 46. Um, I- I wonder if any other Binding Blade characters are gonna appear, cause like, Dian appeared, so... I don't think you're gonna move, cause you're the boss. At least I don't think so, at least I hope not. Um, we'll have to see. There's only one way to- to figure that one out, but... Alright. Uh, okay. So we got, uh, uh Tsagan up there, EK you go there. And Gim, you go here. Grape. Toby, I suppose I'll top up Toby just for the EXP. Uh, with the heal stuff, of course. Do a bit of that. Cool. And, uh, we have our, uh, carrot here, Arawel. Alright. Let's see. Nothing, okay. So I guess he's not gonna move, which is great. Um... Actually, this- this soundtrack is FE6, right? Am I crazy? Why did I do that? That's a mage. <laughs> um, four magic. Zero resistance, but it is four mat five speed. Three speed. I think he's fine. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I just instinctually put him there. Probably wasn't the greatest idea, but, you know. I'm always filled with bad ideas. You know, you know me. You know me. So, okay, we'll heal up Ristoff. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna have to lure that guy out as well. We'll get Ristoff here then. Actually, if I get Ristoff here, I don't think the mage can reach. But can Ristoff tank this guy as well is the question, isn't it? EK... E... uh... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. If I put one dude there and one dude there, it'll be fine. It's just, are they gonna both go for the one character as issue. You got zero defense, uh, zero resistance as well, right? Yeah, unless I put... I could put Zagan here. He'll probably be able to tank both of those, so... Uh, let's see, what is the danger zone done there? So... Is that... that's also a space that can happen. <sighs> um... I guess it's... I, I guess it's fine. We'll just get Zagan up there, tanking everything, and then everyone else can move forwards, I suppose. Alright, EK, you go here, and Grape, and let's see, Haruel, and Yuen. The reason why I'm saying these names is, for, is basically for two reasons. It's one so that I can remember them, and it's, it's one so that you guys can remember them as well. Because of course, uh, I'm assuming the majority of people watching this haven't played this game, uh, or watched a playthrough or anything like that. So, uh, okay, cool, we actually did uh, rather good there, because actually it was nice that we had the sword equipped, that was fully unintentional, but now we can actually get all this CXP, so... Let's see, how much can uh, Yuen do against this guy? 4 times 2, 8 damage. Can you not finish him off? Yep, yeah, okay. We'll do a Saya and Yuen combination, and we should be good. Cool, and, uh, yep. Again, like I said, Thief Boys, they need the XP. They need your help. They need your help in getting XP. <laughs> That's just how it works. That's just how it be. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And, uh, let's hop in again. Good stuff. That's what you like to see. Okay. You love it up. Let's see your first level up. Speed or strength is all I want with you. Okay, that's speed. That's great. 12 speed. That's what you like to see. Uh, hopefully we can max him out to level 20 by the end of this game. I, I mean, I know, in fact, I definitely will be trying, so... Um, okay. I'll try with... Well, we also do have the boss to deal with here. I mean, we can deal with him next turn. Although, what do you have? Do you have a throwing weapon? You do have a javelin. Hmm, okay. So... The best bet here would be... You do have a javelin as well. So I could go here and I'll be in the safety zone of him, but... Um, I guess Tsagan can do- oh, Tsagan's only doing 8 times 2 I suppose we'll do that first and foremost, because uh, he's only getting hit 3 back, so... You riffraff that won't die off, don't get ahead of yourself, okay? 
I love how it's like a, you know, like a barbarian sprite, but it's just like a Cavalier. I guess because he has a, a javelin, which, you know, axe users can't use spears, so... Um, okay, so in that case, now... Well, the thing is, how much... How much is, like, are you doing? Two times two. Alright, well, um... Yeah, the issue ends up becoming... Well, we do have the Night Killer, actually, now that I think about it. Who has it? You have it. So, I could just give it to Roostoff, maybe? How much is the Night Killer doing? 20. It's only a 41% hit rate, though. Uh, it's only a 41% hit rate, huh? Well, if I get... Oh, uh, Yuki can't finish him off. Someone's gonna have to get hit by his javelin, but, like... Okay, you're getting hit by 3, so that's fine. If, if we can... 12 and... 12 and 8, I guess that, that works. Okay, we'll do that then, just in case, um... You know, if we do end up missing, um... Well, like, yeah, if we do end up, uh, you know, not being able to beat him this turn, then that's fine. We've got Sheik's here, and he's gonna be able to tank it anyway, so... If this hits. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was fully expecting that to completely miss, but, uh, that's okay. Good job, Sheik's. Um, even mages are nothing compared to this man. Um, now let's see, uh, I suppose we could... Is there anyone we can, uh, I mean, we can heal up. You in here. Just for the bit of, uh, EXP here. And, uh, do it that way, cool. And, Jim... How much is Jim doing back? He's getting hit by 9. To be fair, that's actually not too bad. If he gets hit by 2 of those javelins, he's still fine, so... Yeah, we might as well. And it's 45 as well. Okay, that's fine. Yep, okay. That's completely fine. I still- I always love how the axe dodging is so funny. <laughs> it's like a little roll that he does. It's funny stuff. Um... Yeah, the javelin's 36%. Do I get Night Killer going on? He's gonna do 6 though, which actually isn't too bad. Um... Yeah, even if he hits us twice, he'll be fine. Night Killer! Nicely done, okay. Ristoff's the goat. Had to, to think that I would get defeated like this. Who are you anyways? Fumage? Okay. <laughs> sure. Level up, and uh, level 4. 3 ping, we got speed, that's nice. I'll take it. And we got the javelin. That's also quite nice, isn't it? Alright, we'll get Grape up here, and uh, I think we'll end our turn. And we we shall seize. This one might be another short one as well, I do uh, sincerely apologize, but uh, it is what it is. We've defeated them all. These guys were taking advantage of all the ruckus and invaded the village. Seems like... It's all kinds of chaos is unfolding in the Sakaean uh, land. I wonder if we're actually gonna go to other lands in this whole game or not. Sorry as well, I was kind of like, um... I know, trying to hold a sneeze in, so... <laughs> if you heard me rubbing my, my nose, I do apologize about that. Anyways. Though it seems like they're quite speedy for just normal bandits. Mm, true. Uh, what do you mean? Well... I, I am assuming the Jude tribe are teaming up with... Oh, sorry, they're using the uh, mountain bandits. Uh, it seems, so they're being used like a marionette. Oh, uh, those dirty... The, the dirty bastards, I don't know. Saya probably wouldn't say that, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just paraphrase a little, I suppose. We'll probably run into them into battle once again. We should uh, return back, and um, we should keep our guard up, and continue on forwards. Okay. So you're Miss Saya, right? Yes, I'm glad that you helped us out. Well, could we uh, follow along with you, with you guys, with your journey? We want to be mercenaries too, and that's why we left the village. They have giant necks, I just want to say. Uh, I want to defeat the burn enemies, and I would like to do it uh, under your command. Uh, if that's the case, I would uh, welcome you aboard uh, yeah, any day. Uh, pleased to meet both of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and uh, okay, we get little cutscenes for all the new characters. I guess because we didn't do the talk events, maybe? I, I genuinely completely forgot, to be honest. Can we come along too? Uh, it doesn't seem like you guys are bad, after all. Please, I want to follow too. I want to help out those that are in need as well. Thanks. But we're going to head right into battle. It seems like you two aren't really um, fit for fighting. I think it's too dangerous for the two of you. If, you. if you're looking for someone that's nimble and good with their hands, then I am your man. That was a strange way of saying it. It's in like opening chess. You, stop. Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> you need people like this in a war, right? And I can use the healing stuff. I'm sure I can come into handy. <sighs> okay, but please don't uh, be reckless. Uh, I am the Lorca Tribe's sire. Alright, let's head towards Jute Fortress together. Okay. 
Uh, again, this was a bit of a short one, I do apologize, but I think going forwards, I mean, at this point, you guys have probably realized, but I'll be doing premieres for all these just because it's Fire Emblem, it's JBA, it's what you guys want, and by what you guys, I mean Roa specifically, but, you know. At this point, I don't even know who's the simp. Am I the Roa simp, or is... Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm going to end things off here. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of Fire Emblem Tenchi no Ken, and I hope to see you all next time. Things like things are heating up, we're getting a whole bunch of new units. Let me know what your favourite character is down below, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time with some more, so I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.